Hey everybody, it's Ruth the Traveling Quilter. It is Wednesday, February 21st, so it is time for Wednesday's Quickie. And this Wednesday we are in the bag. So you know quilters need all kinds of bags, have all kinds of bags, and the Quickie projects to work on in between those big quilt projects. So here's a really big bag I made. Let me see. It fits my big ruler, so this one's big enough to take on a retreat. What else do we have in my bag here? Let's see here. Oh, toiletry bags, square bottom toiletry bags. This one's made of an ostrich vinyl. Not a real ostrich was harmed in making that, but ostrich vinyl bag. Since we travel, we have bags with toiletries. We just keep them ready to go. And then I've made all kinds of these bags. Those are made with the pretty zippers. Different sizes. Let's see. Those have nothing in them yet. Oh, there's one. Toiletries. That one's always ready in the suitcase. Let's see. I'm going to find something else in here. Oh, here's one. This one's mermaids. What's in this one? Zippers. Zippers for more bags. I have all kinds of zippers. Anything else in my bag? Anything? Oh, there's more. Sewing machine bag with pretty zippers. These pretty zippers came from Missouri Star. You can get them other places too. Um, real easy to install. Oh, this one's got rotary cutting blades, some pins, other little notions in there. This is kind of like Mary Poppins bag, isn't it? Full of things. That, oh, nope, there's more. Here's one. What's this one have? More toiletries. <laughs> I have lots more bags at home. The bags I didn't bring. More toiletries. I know what that one is. That one's just like always in the suitcase. And that's that. But today we're going to make project bags. So they can be made in several different ways. Vinyl. We're going to do the vinyl project bags. But there's the front. There's the back. This is all one fabric with just a black binding. And then here's one I have. It's already full of a project, but it's got vinyl. It's got a patchwork bottom and a handle. And you can see how much bigger that is than this one. It's got a project in it. So that one's that much bigger. So we are going to make vinyl project bags today as our Wednesday quickie. Let me get some things together and I'll be right back. All right, so to make a project bag, they're really easy. At least the way I do them, they're really easy. Um, first, you need some fabric. So I had two collections here that I got on sale sometime this winter. I had a coriander um, fabric and it's uh, Sherry and Chelsea. That's a tongue twister, Sherry and Chelsea, if you're watching that. But, um, so I had two collections and they really go together well there. That's a green and a purple and a gray. So that's the collection I used. I'm just gonna set this over to the side here and I'm gonna pull down everything. I've already pre-cut this because everybody knows how to cut, right? So you need a zipper. You're going to need some clear vinyl and the size of your bag really depends on how much vinyl you've got. You can get this on a roll in all kinds of different colors. This is a clear with a little glitter. I don't know if you can see the glitter in that right now, but it's got a little glitter to it. And then you're going to need um, some binding fabric. Everybody knows how to do some binding, two and a half inch strips. You're going to need about three width of, um, well, fat quarters. So. 22 inch, so 60 inches or so of binding. Um, you're going to need two two and a half inch pieces and one three and a half inch piece. You're going to need a inside of your bag and a back of your bag fabric, and they are both right here. There's my inside, there's my back, and then you need some Pellon or some foam or some batting, your choice. This time I'm going to use this Pellon, the stiffer kind. My other ones there that I showed earlier, those had batting in them. But this is a one side iron on Pellon. Now I've written down the sizes because I can't memorize all that. But you also need some clips. 
because we don't want to stick um, pins in our vinyl. So for the outside of our bag, we're going to need a 12 and a half by 14 and a half inch piece. For the lining, you need the same. And then for um, your pellon or your batting, same size, 12 and a half by 14. And then I've already told you your accent pieces here. The three and a half, you're going to fold your three and a half in half and then fold down a quarter of an inch and iron that down. So I've already ironed that down. Um, if you need a trick for ironing, make sure you get a quarter inch if you're not good at eyeballing that. It can be a little more also. Take a piece of notebook paper or an index card here and fold that up. Let me hold that up there. If you fold that up right there, that is a quarter of an inch, one line. So you can just fold that up right there, get your quarter of an inch, okay? So what we're going to start out with though is doing our zipper. So we're going to take two and a half inch strip, face up. We're going to take our zipper. We're going to lay it zipper side down on the top edge, so away from me. And the other two and a half inch strip face down here. And then we're going to clip that. We're going to speed some of this along eventually. Clip, clip, clip. Hope everybody's been having a good week here. Let's see, get some clips here. Now you can use your quarter inch foot if you don't have a zipper foot. If you do have a zipper foot, make sure and change your plate if you have a straight plate or a zigzag plate if your machine does do that because you don't want to try to zigzag or set your needle off center on your straight stitch plate or we know you'll have a broken needle and it can mess up your machine or you can break a needle off and it can go flying and hit something we don't want it to hit so there we are pinned up here okay so let's take this over to the machine here and we're going to sew that up Okay, so I've got my zipper foot on here and I've got my needle set way off to the left and I want to get close to these teeth but have some space there. And I've got a whole lot of zipper left because this is a 24 inch zipper I believe. But you will see this is not exact science either. Just run that zipper foot like right along the teeth of that zipper. If you have a little shorter zipper, you're going to have to unzip your zipper during this process to get it up past your foot, but we are right on it. See my zipper kind of came out there, but I'm just going to fudge it along. I'm going to take them all off and fudge it along the whole way here, right there. Right there, lay it on top of each other, zip it along. Back stitch that. Okay, that's done there. So here we have our zipper encased in our two and a half inch strips. Now we're going to fold this down and we're just going to run a top stitch right along there to hold that down. I'm just finger pressing it on back and front. Sometimes I'll put a clip on the other side just to hold my layers together. You could run your iron on there, but I don't like to risk that with a polyester zipper. Okay, so we're going to put that right there. And I'm just going to run that top stitch and I'm going to move my needle to the right, I think. There we go. So I'm just running my foot right along the edge here, just a thread length away from the edge of that zipper. There 
we go. So now we've got the top of our zipper done. Right here. Now we're going to take our three and a half inch piece that's folded in half with our quarter inch zipped up in there. And we're going to apply it to the other side of our zipper. We're going to just try to line those up as close as we can. And it's just a top stitch along here is all we're doing. So line it up here. See these zippers come out of the package a little wrinkly. We're not going to be exact, but we're going to be trimming some in a little while. So there we go. Let's put this right here. And this one I want to move my, I'm going to move my needle back to the left because I'm sewing from this direction. But it's whatever it takes for you to, to sew with your machine. Just so we're not getting caught in the teeth there. So there's the top part of our bag. And what this really is for is a place to put our vinyl. So let me get my piece of vinyl here. This is just going to slip right in this little casing here. So open this up, slip your vinyl in, up to the top. Go. And we're just going to run a top stitch here to hold those two pieces together and then we'll have our front done. Sometimes you have to roll your vinyl or maybe I should have done it from the other direction. Totally catching my back here. That's all right. Okay, there we go. So here's our front, all finished. Okay, so I got, went ahead, this was off camera, but I just took several stitches back and forth on this end of the zipper, opened the zipper, and took several stitches back and forth on this end. Then I've taken my um, Shape Flex, and being this is one side, I ironed it on, stuck my other side to the back. Now you can take this and you can do some straight line quilting, you can do some stipple quilting, whatever you want to do, whether you use your interfacing or your Shape Flex. You can just quilt that along. So now we're just going to layer this up here and we see how much bigger some of this is. So, it's, see it doesn't all match, that's okay. We're going to layer this on here. And that's pretty good. But this side you can see is bigger. This side's bigger over there. I'm going to adjust it right there and I'm going to put some clips here along the edges. Now this one I'm not going to put a handle. If you wanted to put a handle this is where you would take uh, about a seven to eight inch two and a half inch strip, fold it in half and half in itself again and clip it in. This is just going to be a carry along and this one's going to be stiffer than the other ones I've had. So I'm just clipping those right. Okay, so I have clipped it just along the top here. That's the, the side I made even. And then I'm gonna trim off this extra zipper. So let me move that clip down a little bit. And right there, and I've still got the extra seam I took in here. 
I'm going to hold your ruler tight and just trim that off. That's real easy through there. Okay, and now we know this side's right, so now I'm going to clip that side up. Now see how much extra I've got overhanging on the bottom here? I'm just going to trim that even. That side's even. So even my ruler up. Got my vinyl rolling up on me. Unroll. There we go. Unroll. Even, even. You know when you quilt when you quilt that up, then it takes it in a little bit. But there's not very much waste. So the bottom is good now. And when we put the binding on here, you'll never know. here and now you got your zipper open right I'm gonna have to move that clip and move this one over I had a feeling that happened so I did two I did two lines of stitching So that's all the waste we've had, really. Let's just clip it the rest of the way around. And then we're going to take it back to the sewing machine and just going to do a basting stitch right around the edges before we do our binding. And that will be all of that bag. Okay, there we go. Back to the machine I go. All right, so we're going to run a basting stitch about an eighth of an inch, three, 3.5, just to hold all these layers together. Just go all the way around. And I would take it a couple times back and forth against your zipper there. Across and back. I'm going to show you the other bag that I'm making at the same time here, um, it's just got a little piece bottom to it instead of vinyl all the way down. And you do it just like you do the top, you make a little envelope for the bottom part of the vinyl. Oh, I need my needle down, needle down. I'm not right-handed, so it's throwing my clips off here. <laughs> it's kind of backwards for me. I've always had backwards issues with pins and clips. This just goes really quick. The most time on this bag is getting your pieces ready. I've tried this with um, turning the bag inside out. It was kind of hard for me to do. Um, kind of makes it stiff on the corners. So as much as I don't like binding, it did turn out better with a binding on it. Back and forth, it grips the zipper. Let me get these out of here. I'm going to have a mess of clips all over the floor if I don't get those out of there. See, and I, I can feel right here where I'm already extend a little bit more over. Just smooth it out as we go here. if I'd keep my needle down. Let me zip this up here. Oh, 
Okay, so there we have that. And we're gonna put a piece of um, binding here. So I've got my binding already done. I've got three pieces, two and a half inches, and then I've just ironed it in half. And I'm just gonna do it all by machine. Okay, before we do that though, let me show you the other bag. So here's the other one. I have a piece bottom. Um, because my piece of vinyl, I didn't end up with two and a half inches on my corners here, but that's okay. So as we did the zipper here, made a little envelope here for the vinyl. I just laid this on top of the vinyl, pretty side down. I had another piece the same size, laid it pretty side up, sewed along here. So now the vinyl is encased right in here and did that top stitch. So we've got a top stitch with vinyl in here, top stitch with vinyl in here, and then you just do it like the rest. Sew that top stitch around here, put your binding on, and you'll have one with pieced and one with vinyl all the way down. So let's just finish the one with vinyl all the way down. So I'm on the back of my bag right now and I have my binding strip just laid across there and I've got a tail there, five inches or so. And I'm starting on the bottom. You can start wherever you want. Um, go back to your regular stitch length, do a few stitches and then back. So since this is a small project, I'm really not clipping this all the way, but I'm gonna run that along there. I'm gonna help guide it a little bit. Just a quarter of an inch. When you get to your quarter of an inch there, I like to just run it off the corner. So turn it at an angle, run it off the corner, pick up, pull out, and then we're gonna make that 45 degree angle. So we're gonna pull it straight up. So this is a straight line here crease and then bring it back down and then we're going to start a quarter of an inch in. If this was real a quilt or something we would have this on a binding buddy rolled up something so it wasn't making a big line of binding but we're in a hurry right now <laughs> just for a quickie. I appreciate all the comments we've had if you didn't see my congratulations for my 400 subscribers, um, Deb um, Quilting Grandma in Quilt won my giveaway, so I'm going to be getting that out for her. And she was really the second winner I drew. My random number first picked um, the visual storyteller as the winner, but the visual storyteller is ineligible, being he is the cameraman <laughs> and lives in the same household, he is ineligible. So picked a random number again and Deb won. He was disappointed he didn't get to keep more stuff in the house, I think. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, I hope I made enough binding for this. It should only take three strips for this size. Got lots of little threads. Pull up and make another, another 45 degree angle here. And I'm just gonna finish going around here and then we'll go back to the top, okay? I'll be back with you in just a second. All right, so I've taken that um, binding all the way around, and then I have two tails left here. I'm sure you all know what to do with this, but in case you don't, I'm gonna show you how I do this. So this is two and a half inch binding here. These overlap. They need to overlap two and a half inches. So to measure, I'm just gonna chop a piece off right here. I got plenty of overlap here, okay? This is two and a half inches wide. That's how far they need to overlap. And I like it to overlap where I'm not too close to the stitches. So let's put it like right here. 
So we were going to chop it off right in here. I just chop it off. If it's not right, I sew some back on. Chop it off right there. I don't know if you can see around my hand here. And right there is where it's going to overlap. And then we'll go to the machine and join those ends up and then finish putting that around and then we'll wrap it around to the front. Cut that. All right, so we got our binding done and as I said, cutting it too short, I did. So I made it a straight line anyway because I can't talk and sew at the same time sometimes. So we're just putting our clips on here on our binding. It fits into a nice 45 degree angle here now since we did that you got to shove your corners out but that will fit into a nice 45 degree right there. I don't know that you want to see the whole thing do we? With it completed or watch me just sew some straight lines but as soon as I get this on here and get my some more clips I'll sew that binding down and the bag will be done another 45 degree angle that pulling it out, and, I, and when I say when I pull it out from the needle, you pull it out 45 degree angle. So I've got some of that straight line seam tape on my machine where I can see my 45 degree. But when you pull it straight out from your machine, it makes an automatic 45 degree. Just don't lean it. Um, I said the I think I said the vinyl comes in different gauges. If you're going to have heavier projects, you want the heavier gauge vinyl. The thinner vinyl would be if you're doing like cross stitch projects, lightweight projects. But you need a heavier, thicker vinyl if you're going to be carrying big projects, whole kits, scissors, anything that's going to be pokey. Okay. I think you'll be able to imagine what this will look like sewed up. So let me get this one little thread trimmed off here. Where'd it go? I sewed with gray thread, match my gray background fabric, and then it's blending in. I can't see it. I can only feel it. There we go. So now we're all clipped up here. Let me zip up here. And when that's all sewed up, we will have a vinyl project bag. Let me sew that up and we'll show you the final result. So are we ready? Here we go. A vinyl zippy project bag. Zip. We got our vinyl there. Here we go. Clear vinyl. Just like that. I need to still make my binding and finish up my piece bag and then put the binding on that and then oh, that'll be all. But you see how they are just a little bit different but they're the same. If you have a big piece of vinyl make a big bag. If you want a handle put a handle on there. Now I don't know how much I'll be around this week. I've got kind of a silly work schedule. I work Wednesday night, Thursday night, off a night, work two, off one. But you can go back and look at all my other old videos. I'm going to be watching other videos. I watch those at night or before I go to sleep. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for everybody who has subscribed. Join the Facebook group. I got to figure out how to let you all post on the Facebook group instead of just my post because I want to see what everybody else has done. Um, so I'm going to try to figure that one out. If anybody knows how, let me know. I know how to do it on my personal page, but not on the um, Traveling Quilter page. I want to say thank you to my cameraman, the visual storyteller, that storyteller two words. 
Um, he's got lots of videos and pictures of places we're traveling to, so take a, take a peek at the Visual Storyteller. Um, I'll put the link in the description here about the sizes, but you can always arrange the sizes to fit the size of zipper, the size of vinyl you have, and what it takes for your specific project. Now, say that three times fast. Now, next Wednesday, I'm just going to have to be going to the dogs, so be sure and stay tuned for that one, and I will see you soon. Bye!